The first urban legend is Boy Scout Lane. Up in Stevens Point, there's an isolated road. So the story goes, in the 1950s or 1960s, a group of Boy Scouts is killed. One version of the story has the troop leader killing all of the children. In the other account, one of the boys drops a lantern causing a forest fire that kills all of them. People have visited the area, report feeling being watched, seeing a light, hearing twigs breaking under foot, or seeing childlike handprints on vehicles. The next urban legend is Hodag. According to a legend, a Wisconsin man caught one of these creatures in the 1890s, and more of them Roman Rhinelander. The Hodag is a tortured beast, where he is ugly and spends lots of time crying about it. The Hodag is coming after you. Be aware that only three things will apparently kill it. Chloroform, dynamite, and lemons. Hmm. The next urban legend is mass murder. So the legend goes, a famous psychic predicted on a talk show that there would be a mass murder at the University of Wisconsin, resulting in 12 students dying. This was right around Halloween, and students freaked out and hardly anyone came out to party. Well, some students didn't take the prediction seriously. The party went well, but in the morning, 12 students were discovered to have been brutally murdered. The next urban legend is Alien Encounter. In 1974, there were numerous supposed sightings of UFOs in Antigua. It's still not totally clear what happened, but one woman apparently interacted with an alien. Miss H, who owned a bar and restaurant, was shocked when a funny-looking little man walked into the joint and started talking in very quick English about Medford and the whole world lighting up and left in a flash. The next urban legend is the Abominable Snowman. The year was 1998. And two teenagers were walking along when they heard a terrifying scream. When they realized the creature was in pursuit, they began running as quickly as they can. Apparently, one of the boy's mothers corroborated the report and said she heard a very odd sound, saying it sounded like a train was coming by. The next urban legend is Phantom Man. Trips to Barbu are generally full of fun and shenanigans, but while driving through this area of Wisconsin, some people have reported seeing a hitchhiker in a tattered green army jacket. When people pass him and look back in their rearview mirrors, the man is gone. No one has actually picked this man up, but he remains on the side of the road waiting for a ride. The next urban legend is Bloody Bride Bridge. So the legend goes, a bride was killed on her wedding night, but she continues to haunt the area, sitting in the backs of cars, visible to drivers in the rearview mirror. According to legend, years later, a police officer hit a woman and went back to help her. When he ran back, no one was there. The last urban legend is Siren Bridge. This one is grounded in reality. A family was driving over the Siren Bridge when the car went through the guardrails, resulting in everyone in the car drowning. But many motorists who have driven through the area report hearing a child's voice over the radio. Mommy, help me. I can't get out. Mm-hmm.